Hi, we're going to show you our Hooligan XL with the new removable casting braces on here. These are like the drift boat style casting braces. The great thing about this thing is how light it is and easy it is to move around. I got a 25 pound anchor on there and one guy can easily get it in and out of just about any boat ramp. This is made to use in bad boat ramps, go over rocks, sticks, all that kind of stuff. And obviously snow makes it easier, but it's very light, very easy to maneuver. We have a removable Yeti, charcoal Yeti cooler here. These dudes are removable. You can put the cup holders in them or not. Some of the fly fishermen don't really like the cup holders. Some of the people that like to have lots of drinks like them. So this boat is equipped with one, two, three, four, five, six cup holders. So if you like to drink alcohol, there's lots of places for beer. But you can put flies and everything else on it. It's got one set of our standard type rod holders in it. And I'll show you that. These are just some shop rods where we can see how everything fits. Generally old broken ones. But here's a like a nine foot eight weight. Or was. Probably a little bit shorter than that. Fits nice in there. That's our standard rod holder. And then we have this extra long one that covers a lot of the rod here. The guys with long rods, center pin fishermen, and um, this wraps, I have three of them in here. An old shop rod, another shop rod, but you can see it covers the whole rod. It's in there rigged up, nothing's exposed. Can do either one. This is a $250 option here on this side. The coating on our aluminum is a truck bed liner. Speed liner is or a rhino liner is what we use. It's got some of our spider webbing to match. <clears throat> this boat has our drain plug model, so you can take it's got cutouts. If it's pouring rain or you need to wash it out, you can just lift it up this way or the other way and you can see these cutouts here and I can take the drain plug in and out if you're running in heavier water see this guy here you can just leave them out but if you ran into a bunch of water you can just pull over to the side of the river pick your boat up and you're good it's got these cutouts over to the side So I can bilge the boat out here. This is just a hand water bilge pump. We have the air pump here. We have the integrated laser cut rack. All of these seats come off. They slide off here like this. So you can stand up here or people put coolers on here, whatever. We have a big ring here to tie off of. See, it's a nice big welded ring here. It's nice to, if you're using a trailer, you can hang on, you can winch it up from there. We got a 25 pound steel anchor, four sided pyramid, and all the rope is integrated into the boat, so there's nothing to catch the line on. So that's really nice. It's on a double pulley. If that doesn't act like that's enough weight, you can always go to a single you know, weight without the pulley, you usually gain about kind of five pounds. The double pulley makes 25 pounds feel like half of that. And like I said, if you're getting pushed around a little bit by the current, you could take that off and it's like gaining about five pounds. We got the Sawyer um, wood, full wood oars. When you let go of them, they float really nice. It's got real size oar locks, which is really nice. You can put any high end oar in there. Just a lot of cool options. This Yeti comes in and out. And then there's an optional aluminum piece that can go in here. So if you want to take the Yeti out and have a lighter weight, because the Yeti's 28 pounds or something, if you want a lighter weight option, you could take this out and put an aluminum piece in there. Uh, we did forget that for whatever reason, but um, it's a real easy thing. It's just a piece of aluminum with a seat on there removable.
We have the, this, you know, ready to go down the road. We got the oars all bungeed in. We're going to unbungee those. I'll do a quick row. I'll take the um, casting braces out, show you how that works, and we'll go from there. So we'll show you um, how this Yeti fits in here. The charcoal looks great in our boats. This seat comes on and off to cool, and this guy comes out, just like so. And then there's a piece here that can put this seat back on there, which would have been a good thing to grab, but we forgot it. But either way, we'll show that here next. There's a piece that goes in there if you want to keep the boat real lightweight, so you have lots of options. It's really cool. Because these things are not the lightest things in the world, for sure, but it's definitely really cool. We'll take it for a spin. Okay, we're on the water now with our cool looking XL drift boat casting braces. And you can see it's very stable. This boat is 14 and a half feet. Um, I forget, I think it's 60 inches wide on the bottom. So you, you can actually still fit it in a, a full size truck. But you can see it's very stable. Um, you can climb around on it, um, which is kind of a characteristic of stealth craft. And you know, compared to um, the other ones that you might look at, this is you know a boat that is all made here in the U.S. by us. We uh, cut out these tackle trays here. We have a nice rack on the back, so you can put a bunch of stuff in there. We have the cutouts, a nice high-grade low back rowing seat high grade seat made in the USA, which we're proud of. You can see how cool this anchor system is. It's very effortless, this is a 25 pounder. You can also see how great these Sawyer wood oars um, float, which was a kind of a complaint with the smaller diameter oars that we used to have. And you can see there's, a, there's room for something in front of my feet and there's plenty of room for the, the guy in the front and the back. But as far as these rowing, they row super good. You can see how nice the transit track is water here. But if you were looking to get a boat that would be very easy to row and motor at the same, you can see that our boats come standard with the motor mount. See how good that looks. You don't have to buy an optional motor mount or anything. We have this great finish, this rubbery truck bed liner on here. And considering our boats are not a whole lot more money than our um, well advertised competitors, um, you'll really like this thing. You'll see right now how easy this row and it's And you could upgrade to some better, fancier sort of horse. If you were looking at a boat, just to get you on the water, and, you, and the great thing is it's a raft, and you really can't hurt it. The rubber has a three-year warranty from us, and then you know, being that we you know, build everything here, we can easily you know, warranty just about anything. But that's what we love, love about a raft, is if yeah, that was one of our pretty hard bottom boats, you'd be really sad because you could scratch in it, but you know, it's just rough. So we just can play bumper boats. I'll peel these casting braces out to show you how much room this thing has and uh, we'll go on to the, the next video. See how comfy that is for anybody? You stand up, getting the braces this way. These braces you can sit sideways or this way. Either way, a lot of the you know guides and stuff like these because it makes people kind of center up in the hall, so it's not off center. But it feels like being in a hard bottom boat. It really does. You can see how nice our rod storage is. We went over that earlier. I will pull these casting braces out. We just have some little pins in here and uh, show you the rest. So I just pulled these pins out. Really easy to get out. It's just a little, like a little detent pin so it doesn't catch a bunch of line or anything out. And uh, obviously, probably, if you're just fishing with two buddies, you just throw this in the back. But this is really nice. 
you can be fishing a hatch and you can just sit down and, and drop them in there. So you can do either one. A lot of things this is cool for is if you had to go under a, a tree that fell down or a really low log, you can crawl that or log or bridge. You can crawl into here and have a really low profile. So that's a really nice feature. Um, and that's kind of why we're, we're, we added this option. It was mostly for the removability of that. We went over this coming out. I'll show you how much room there is in the back. And you can see that uh, I'm getting around pretty good in this thing. And I'm a pretty big guy. Spot for this back here. There's an integrated spot for the air pump back here too. You can get all organized. It doesn't help when things are frozen. But you can see there's a ton of room for this guy. And the guy in the back has a very luxurious amount of room. He's still not stepping on rods. I can put my stuff there. The other rods would be here. So it's just really set up really nice, just like our drift boats. Ready to go. Very well thought out, very innovative. We always have the next best idea. I could take this out for you too, but this is pretty obvious. You guys see that seat comes out. Pretty simple, but yeah, pretty cool. And uh, once again, like I say, you can stand up here and fish. Everything's real solid, real nice. These guys come in and out really easy. And um, that's all we got.